Okay, now in this video, we're going to demonstrate how to add a web browser or web browser control to a Microsoft PowerPoint presentation. Now, at first glance, this may be kind of unusual. Why would you want to have a web browser in a PowerPoint presentation? A couple of reasons. You may be demonstrating maybe an internet site to your coworkers or to a business meeting, and you want to show a couple of web pages. Rather than having a, a gallery of just images, you can use a web, a web browser. That way you can look at dynamic content and several web pages all on one slide. So to get this started, let's go on and open up our PowerPoint. I have a presentation here already set up. I'm going to select my Developers tab. Under Controls, look for the hammer and the wrench. You're going to go on and select that for more controls. Scroll down and look for Microsoft Web Browser Control. And we're going to do is select that and hit OK. And we're going to draw it on the presentation. Now when you actually run your PowerPoint presentation, this is going to be a white screen. But what we're going to do is add just two buttons. Under controls, I'm going to select command button. And I'm going to draw this on my form, my presentation. I'm going to right click that and hit properties. And I'm, I'm just going to name this one the caption as Google page. And then I'm going to add another command button. I want it to be the same size. So what I'm going to do is just click this one, copy it, and paste it over. And I'm going to right click, select properties, and I'm going to call this one the Yahoo page. And I'm going to go on and close that out. And since we are in design mode, I'm going to double click Google place this code. Type in web browser one dot navigate and here we're just going to put the Google page. Now web browser one that name comes from this control right here. If we were to right click it, select properties, that is the name of the control, web browser one. And I'm going to do the same thing for the Yahoo page. Double click that button. Web browser one dot navigate and I'm going to go on and put as Yahoo. Now while I'm typing this out, being that we are in design mode, I'm not able to actually click, click these buttons to execute the code. To execute the code, I must run the presentation. I'm going to select F5. And here we get a blank screen. So if I hit Google page, it'll navigate to the Google page. And you have a full fully functional web browser, I mean, you don't have the back button, the forward button, and a go to URL, you can add that kind of functionality. But in this video, I'm just demonstrating how to add the web browser control. And so, but here, just so you can see, if I type in speed test, page loads up properly, and we're able to navigate to any of these web pages. And again, fully functional web browser. If I click Yahoo page, the command button, it'll take us to the Yahoo page. Now, here an error has occurred in the script on this page. There is a way that you can remove this script error, but you just want to research web browser, the web browser control, how to silence it for, from errors. Right now in this video, that doesn't cover the, the scope of that. I'm just demonstrating how to add that web browser control. And again, this can be very beneficial when showing web pages or even galleries to um, your coworkers or in a, in a business meeting, whatever it may be. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.